Turning to football, where Nebraska has one of its biggest tests in one of college football's biggest venues. A capacity of uh, over 102,000 at Ohio Stadium with the fourth-ranked Buckeyes will take on the Huskers tomorrow at 11 a.m. With more on the matchup, here's to 11 Sports Director Kevin Suits. Chase, frankly speaking, not many people are giving Nebraska a chance on Saturday. The Huskers are coming off their worst defeat under Matt Rule, while Ohio State... Well, many expect an angry Buckeyes team when they take the field to face the Huskers. That's because the last time Ohio State played, they suffered a heartbreaking one-point loss to now number one Oregon, and that came before their bye week. They have no weakness. Um, you know, probably one of the you know best ro top two or three rosters in football. Great coaching staff, great schemes. It's just. One of those deals where you have, you have to go play well. Saturday's game will feature two of the top freshmen in the Big Ten, in Ohio State wide receiver Jeremiah Smith and Nebraska's Dylan Riola. The Huskers' first-year starting quarterback originally committed to Ohio State out of high school before ultimately signing with the Huskers. I respect their program and, and you know what Coach Day did and um, still do. Um, but I'm, I'm happy where I'm at today. When it comes to um, yeah, Dylan, I think he's got an opportunity to be a great player. I think he's already playing at a high level. and. Um, you know, he's, he's got a lot of talent and uh, he's got a great family. This is the 11th all-time meeting between Nebraska and Ohio State, two iconic college football programs. The Huskers, however, have beaten the Buckeyes only one time, and that was in Lincoln. As for games here at the Horseshoe, Nebraska is 0-6, and, and the average margin of defeat is 23 points. Covering the Huskers in Columbus, Ohio, Kevin Suits, 10-11 Sports.